Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. Got a beer here from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Um, <clears throat> the brewery is called Iron Monk Brewing Company. Um, <clears throat> Iron Monk established 2015. And this is a rye pale ale. It's called Exit 174. Um, let's see. It says 52 Oklahoma is okay. Known for imparting a unique spicy character, the Oklahoma grown rye grain sh shines in this medium bodied, smooth, and citrusy ale. Enjoy an authentic taste of the plains from grain to glass ingredients locally sourced from our friends at 46 the, the, it's so little I can't read it I'd have to get a, a magnifying glass to read it <clears throat> it has a cool cool old truck on there <clears throat> okay well, let's check this one out oh, let's see you know what this one does not say the date on it <clears throat> this is the second Oklahoma beer that has not had the ABV on there what is the deal with that Brewed and canned by Iron Monk Company, Stillwater, Oklahoma. And they don't have a they don't have a canned on date or drink by date or nothing. You know, come on. <clears throat> Wait a minute, here we go. Here's the here's the ABV. 6.2% ABV. Well, I got that part right. But still you need a date on here. Um I don't see that. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm, smells good so far. Whoa. Had a little over three fingers of head there. Lots of glassy bubbles. Fairly frothy looking head there. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> I hope good. I had a busy day at work. I've been running. Trying to get things wrapped up a little bit for the week. And you know when you're you work at a at a college campus and you you got three projects going and it's a pretty good sized campus, you you're walking a lot. So it's good for me. Um just wears me out. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> it's kind of funny how I'd like to get the drink. This sorry it's taking so long. It just oh, it smells really it smells very very citrusy. 
but not on a bitter note, you know what I mean? It smells really good. It has a nice cloudy appearance. I can see some some yeast or something floating around in there. <clears throat> <clears throat> smells really good. I'm going to see if I can get a drink of this so we can get this review going here. <clears throat> Ooh. Medium carbonation burn. <clears throat> Pretty good beer. Pretty good so far. Good taste. Um, Pretty smooth. Man, the carbonation burn is huge <clears throat> um, pretty active and um, there's a light bitter on the back end there um, once that carbonation burn goes away there's a sweet you know kind of a, a little bit of a light sweetness <clears throat> Yeah, I'm probably getting some a little bit of a rye. There's a little bit of a light bready Odie. <clears throat> Excuse me, golly, it's carbonated. <clears throat> it's alright. <clears throat> it just seems like it's really carbonated. Of course there's no date, so I don't know how fresh it is. Yeah, that's too much carbonation. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. <clears throat> okay. You know, it's it's decently good. Has pretty good flavors. Once you get past that carbonation burn, that about destroys your throat. <clears throat> <clears throat> smooth. It's sort of smooth. Smooth to me is where you don't have to cringe to get a <clears throat> get a mouthful of beer and try to swallow it. <clears throat> Medium bodied, hmm, yeah, it's close to that. Hmm. Some greens to glass. <clears throat> okay, well there you go. Iron Monk Brewing Company, exit 174. Um, it's a rye pale ale. Let me know if you've tried this one. Thank you for watching. Sorry I went a little bit longer than I usually do. <clears throat> um, see you all in the next one.